Good morning. So uh, today is a bit of a disappointment because it was just over two years ago and uh, decided to come down to Cove Hive. Uh, two years ago I last came down here and there was trees all over the shot. Just got down here and someone's nicked all the trees. So hopefully you can see just down there. There's normally quite a lot of trees all the way around there which the tide comes all the way up to and covers and all we managed to find is this bit here there's a few other bits you can see there's a model shoot going on down there and there's the bird hide there for reference but yeah didn't expect that when i came down here today unfortunately Otherwise, I think I might have uh, chosen a bit of a different location. But we'll make something out of this anyway. There's a bit of colour threatening just on the horizon there. So I'm hoping a bit of cloud might be lighting up for uh, sunrise, which is in about half an hour. So, uh, yeah, it's too late really to be going anywhere else. It's about a 15 minute walk back to the motor and really can't be dealing with heading anywhere else. So, yeah, so we. Uh, just decided to set up and just enjoy what we've got. So I'm going to see what I can get from here. So, word of warning, if you're planning on coming down to Cove Hive to be uh, shooting the trees in the water at high tide, yeah, it's not going to happen. The trees have been cut back on the cliff, so there won't be any more falling in as well. It really, really is a shame. But I am hoping there's something right over in the distance up there. But again, I'm not too optimistic on that one either, so uh, yeah, catch you in a little while. We've uh, given up where we were, right the way behind us, crossed over a little water outlet there from the uh, nature reserve and push down here because I saw this big black clump down there and it looks like it might pay off beautiful sunrise just starting to light up in the clouds hopefully you can make out some of that but only a couple of minutes away from the next load of trees at Cove Hive well actually I think this will be Ben Acre now it's Cove High's back where we were. So uh, hopefully, quickly get a composition set up there. I'm gonna get down on this water's edge because this sand is really sinky. And it seems to be for every step I take, my legs feel like they're doing about three. So I'm gonna go on the water's edge where it's a bit firmer and hopefully get there a little bit quicker. So uh, I'm gonna try and get a composition set up and see what we can do from there. Well, we uh, stomped further up the beach and see what else we can find and we've been graced with a few more trees. But it's not far off high tide now and uh, the water is just starting to touch some of the trees up here. So it's a little bit of a struggle to be getting something decent shot wise I've gotten the water to come all the way around the subject because it just isolates it a lot better in the frame but I don't think that's going to be happening and I don't think you can make out the sun there got a bank of cloud just hiding away the uh, sun there as well so I think there's a bit of a bust for today to be honest but ho ho, here we are again, huh? that's landscape photography for you. But it's been a nice walk, nice to get some fresh air in the lungs as well. So yeah, that sun's way over the horizon now and uh, that's what we're getting. But yeah, see what I can get from here image wise, but I haven't got my hopes very high, it's very, very flat. So uh, yeah, might be able to do something, might not. So catch in a little while again.
think what's happened here is uh, I've kind of shot myself in the foot. So I was hoping to be right the way over there, shooting where all the trees are now gone. But we've had to end up coming down here and uh, the composition not quite working. There is a photo down there. I don't know if you can see Steve and Paul there. Just down there, it's a nice little tree down there which has got the water just lapping up at it now. So what I'm gonna do is head back down there. I just came up here to see if there's a slightly different vantage point and uh, see if the composition worked, but it's really untidy. You've got bits sticking at the top left and the bottom left, uh, sorry, top right is a bit untidy with the trees up there. Bottom left down here is a little bit untidy and sloppy as well. So I'm gonna head back down there, go for a tighter composition, stuff that works more for me. But yeah, I really have uh, lucked out a bit today. It's, uh, it's not too great, just to be honest. A bit disappointed. But I say, I'd had my head set on being down there and ended up up here. The trees are not, they're quite untidy and higgledy-piggledy. There's no, I can't find any sort of order within all that as well, which is a little bit of a struggle. And if you can't find that, you're a bit stuck really for composition, so. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, grab my gear, head back down there, there's nothing else to see up here really, and see if I can get at least uh, one decent image from today, and then I'll be a happy bunny. I've come down from the uh, top of the cliffs now, and back onto this one. So there's a little bit of colour in the clouds there. What we're hoping for is it's pretty much high tide. The water is going to cover around the tree and then get like a five or six second exposure. Get that nice sort of whooshing on the water all around the tree as well. And then bang, got a shot. Got the horizon pretty much in the middle there as well. Got a 50-50 split with the sand and with the cloud. And you've got some nice whites and blues in with the sky as well. There we go, look, the water's starting to come up here now as well. So hopefully in the 10 minutes, we should have this shot nailed. And uh, it is slowly coming together. But the main thing is we get some nice colors. Sort of pastely blues and reds and oranges in the sky. So hopefully they stay for the next 10 minutes as well. And then we should get something fairly decent. And then hopefully once that uh, water comes up, all these footprints all around here will be washed away. The sand will be nice and smooth as well. And we're left with something fairly decent composition wise. And uh, yeah, the bits on the left where the water where the, there's trees just on the left hand side of the frame. Maybe Photoshop them out, maybe keep them. Just see how I feel really. But yeah, fingers crossed this shot comes out because I think this will be the one for the morning. And uh, I'll be happy then. Well, I've uh, waited and waited. And the light's starting to disappear. Well, go a little bit flat in the sky now. It's near enough high tide as well and still not getting these waves coming all the way up around the tree. They're getting close, but just not quite there. So this image is just not quite working, but that's the way it goes. It's a pretty crazy looking cloud over that way though, but I've got to get back to Norwich. So I think it's going to be time to pack up. So uh, until my next adventure out and about, I'll catch up with you later. Take care and goodbye.